Hello my class 10 students. This is the solution to the test on household circuits which is part of your class 10 physics syllabus of semester 2 and this test is on 30 marks. This is the solution of one of the students who has got 26 marks on 30. Let us see how we have to improve our marks and what is the correct way of writing the solutions. So, if you have not yet looked at the test, the link of the test will be somewhere here on the right side. Click on that link first, solve the test and then after you have written, come back to this and check the solutions and see what is the perfect way of writing the answers so that you will get your full marks. Okay, so let us look at our first question. State the PD and the frequency at which we receive the electrical energy. We receive the electrical energy at PD of 220 volts and frequency 50 hertz. So that is our two mark question. We come to our second question. Why is it necessary to step up the EMF at the power station? At the power station, remember EMF is stepped up from 11 kilo volt to 132 kilo volt. So the answer is this is done so as to reduce the current in the wire. Now remember I have put one caret sign and I have written magnitude of the current. Why did I do this? Because current means there are two facts about it. One is the strength of the current and the other one is the magnitude of the current. Strength of the current means potential difference, how many volts. And magnitude of the current means how many amperes. And we need the magnitude of the current to be lowered because I square RT, which is the heating effect that will become less. Okay, so magnitude of the current in the wire by increasing the EMF power remaining the same, the loss of energy can be reduced in the form of heat in the transmission wire, okay, during the transmission of the electric current. We come to the third one, name the three phase wires that supply electrical energy. Which one of these are at the same potential and what is the value of this potential? This was a very simple question. The three wires are live wire, neutral wire and earth wire. Neutral and earth are at the same potential and the value is zero potential. I would prefer you to write zero potential spelt this way rather than writing like this. Okay, please avoid writing this. Question number four, where is the company fuse located and what is its rating? The company fuse is connected in live wire is important and before the kilowatt ammeter. Both of these words are important if you write just one of them instead of both of them, you will lose your marks. The rating is 50 ampere for a connection of load 10 kilowatt. It's better to mention this and then according to the load, this will change. So 50 ampere for the load of 10 kilowatt is the ideal answer. Question 5. What is the commercial unit of electrical energy and define it? Now commercial unit is kilowatt hour. Are you able to see that this k is small, w is small and h is small. If you write any one of these capital, you will lose your marks. Okay, so unit wise, remember you have to use small letters and this is the definition of kilowatt hour. You can get that from any textbook. Let us come to our next question. Our next question is draw the household wiring system with the bulb and the power socket in it. So this is our three mark question with the ring system like this with the live neutral and earth shown by different lines over here. Can you see that? And the bulb is connected for each one of this socket and also the bulb. Remember to show the switch and the fuse, the switch and the fuse for each one of them. Now, when it comes to the socket, remember the cylinders over here, this earth cylinder has to be visibly shown big and these two the small cylinders on the right will be your live and on the left will be your neutral. You have to remember this. Ideally, you should show the socket here. If you show it above, then please show it like this so that this on the right will be live, this on the left will be neutral. Supposing instead of drawing this way, you have shown this socket up and you have shown it like this. 
then this is not the right this will be the left so this will be your neutral and this will be your live okay if you rotate this this way you will see that the live goes this side okay this side and your neutral will be this side so this kind of stuff can be confusing if you write on the right this is live then you are wrong if you write over here this is neutral then you are wrong okay so just be very careful about this if you want to avoid confusion and want to save on time draw it like so all right so this is your one mark one mark for the bulb one mark for this thing and one mark for showing all these everything okay question number seven how are the appliances connected in a circuit and why the appliances are connected in parallel you know that and remember in parallel your pd is the same but your current is dependent upon the resistance so the appliance with more power will consume more current correct the current will be according to the resistance of the appliance all right now this point over here also the appliance operates independently that is the malfunctioning of other appliance does not affect the remaining appliances which means if one circuit is broken the other ones continue to function now this is the property of the parallel circuit now in place of this i would prefer you to write that each appliance works on the safe current limit according to its rating okay the pd is the same so remember the current it's not that the same current will pass through all the appliances but each appliance will have its own safe limit the current value of it and then it will be uh, responsible for its proper functioning question number eight what is a fuse the fuse you know the definition so you take it straight from the book learn it up nine what is the material of the fuse wire the material of the fuse wire is the alloy of lead and tin which should be kept here okay this will be the first line which satisfies the above conditions the student has written so we say which has low melting point and high resistivity now here it's not resistance it should be resistivity but the material is this alloy of lead and tin question number 10 state the properties of the fuse wire the fuse wire should have low melting point and it should have high specific resistance or in place of this you have to write high resistivity now why do i say resistivity because resistivity is the characteristic of the material and resistance is the value for the given wire hmm? so given wire and the material of the wire so you should be able to make the distinction for that question number 11 which pin of the plug is the longest and the thickest and why the earth pin will be longest and the thickest and the longer one why because the earth connection is made first before the live wire is connected to the appliance and that is for the safety in case of faulty appliance it is made thicker so that by mistake it cannot be inserted into the live or neutral cylinders preferably this word should be used over here then we come to question number 12 a new electrician connected brown wire to the left of the cylinder blue wire to the top cylinder and yellow wire to the right cylinder of the socket now remember in the socket remember the line is on the right okay so yes he has made a mistake brown wire should be connected to the right blue wire should be connected to the left and yellow wire should be connected to the top cylinder that is how we have to write this question number 13 a geyser of power 2000 watts is to be operated at 220 volt mains find the rating of its fuse for this question we use the formula power is equal to vi therefore the current will be equal to power upon the voltage 
Now it's better to spell it out like this in the formula and when you substitute 2000 watt as the power upon 220 volt then you get 9.09 .09 ampere. Now in order to have the fuse rating the rating of the fuse is not going to be 9.09 .09 ampere. If you go to the shop and say give me 9.09 .09 ampere you will not be getting this specification this is the safe limit so you have to take the fuse rating which is above this so above this means you will take it as 10 ampere so this is where the student has lost one mark because the fuse rating is not the safe current limit it should be a little higher than that let us say that we were able to manage to get a fuse of 9.09 .09 ampere which means the moment 9.09 .09 ampere is, is the value of current the appliance should start working but the fuse will melt and break the circuit okay so the value of it has to be more than this safe limit we come to question number 14 state the characteristics of high tension wire high tension wire has low resistance and they have large surface area and this is a two mark question so the student has got two marks and that finishes our test now high tension wire is not in your reduced syllabus but I have taught them anyway so I have asked them that question. So this is how we present our work so that we can get our full marks. I hope you have understood what it takes to get your full marks, the way you have to present your work and which are the facts which have to be mentioned which are important from your ICSC examination point of view so i will end this video over here keep looking out for new videos in the meantime stay safe stay healthy bye